There is no city in the United States with a 50-50 gender balance in tech. Recently, there was a ranking of the best cities for women in technology. Washington, D.C. won first place, in part because their tech workforce is 37.2% women. What would you guess that number is for Columbus? In Columbus, only 22.7% of tech jobs are filled by women. But we're Columbus, a city full of smart, innovative, creative people who pull together to solve challenging problems. So this is a problem we can certainly solve. Part of the way we can solve this problem is by helping women in Columbus find accelerated, alternative pathways that lead to tech careers. My pathway to becoming a woman who creates technology began when I was working as a digital marketing consultant, and my clients asked me to create products that required me to have an ability to write code. I enjoyed taking on new challenges, and I wanted to expand my skill set, so I excitedly looked around for learning resources. And in the process, I began to find out more about the issues surrounding the broader topic of women in technology. Because of this, I became passionate not only about learning web and software development myself, but about empowering other women who were facing barriers yet still wanted to learn. In my volunteer work with an organization that supports women in tech, I've seen repeatedly how women have used learning these skills to improve their lives and to improve the world around them. For these women and countless others, the traditional pathway into tech wasn't a good fit for them. Fortunately, there are alternative pathways. Imagine this. You have a master's degree, but you're working long physical hours for only slightly more than minimum wage. Then one day, you hear about a program that will train you in software development. The program is one year long, tuition free, and specifically designed for women. You apply, get in, complete the program, and just like that, in only one year, you've been launched into one of the world's highest paying careers. And because of the skills you've gained and the lifestyle you now have, you're able to volunteer your time to teach other women to code and to mentor other women as they enter into tech. You just imagined yourself in Davida's shoes, and hopefully you felt a little of the power in her story. The school that Davida attended is commonly referred to in the tech industry as a boot camp. In March of this year, President Obama launched Tech Hire an initiative to empower Americans with the tech skills we need. In his announcement, he emphasized boot camps, like the one DeVita attended, as an important part of the solution. But for women who can't attend a boot camp, there are other options, other alternative pathways. Imagine this. You're a grandmother to eight beautiful grandchildren, and you are a woman on a mission. You want to do something to help victims of domestic abuse escape their abusers and keep their children safe from harm. You know that many of the women you want to help have limited economic resources. Many don't even have a computer, but they do have cell phones. So you create a mobile app that allows these women to silently and anonymously connect to legal information and other vital resources. When people ask you how you, a 51-year-old grandmother, learned to write the code for a mobile app at your age, you tell them about the online class you took and about the local community groups for women learning to code that you participate in. Through the network you've built through these community groups, you found support in using your coding skills to take on freelance work. So not only have you accomplished your goal to do something to help victims of domestic abuse, you've created a marketable skill that's in high demand. You just imagined yourself in Alicia's shoes and hopefully you felt a little of the power in her story. Imagine this. You're working as a bartender when you're given the opportunity to be trained as a software engineer through an apprenticeship. The process begins with weekly mentoring sessions and then progresses to a full-time 12-month program in which you earn money as you continue to learn. When you complete the program, you have such valuable skills that you're able to job hunt with a wish list that very few job seekers would dare to dream of creating. Here are just a few of the items from your list. Number one, your employer doesn't expect you to come into work before 10 a.m. or to work late in the evening. Number two, <laughs> your employer pays for catered breakfast and lunch provided to you at work. Number three, your employer pays for your continued education and development of your skills. Number four, your employer allows you to work from home when you want to. 
after only three weeks of job hunting, you find a high paying job as a junior software engineer that fits not only the four specifications I've listed, but everything on your wish list. You just imagined yourself in Latoya's shoes, and hopefully you felt a little of the power in her story. As we say in the tech industry, software is eating the world. Soon every company will be a technology company. So I invite you to explore these accelerated alternative pathways. However, if the traditional path worked for you, or tech just isn't your thing, then please support other women who are facing barriers but are still reaching for the opportunity to learn how to create technology. Most major cities have at least one coding boot camp. For example, the Denver Boulder area has seven, the DC Baltimore area has five, Cleveland has one, Akron has one, but Columbus doesn't have a coding boot camp yet, so I invite you to get involved in bringing coding boot camps to Columbus. Since 2011, Columbus has had a community group for women who are learning to code. We can make this group stronger by volunteering and spreading the word, and like other major cities, we can create more groups like these. If you're looking for developers and you want more women on your team, then consider the creation of an apprenticeship program designed with women in mind. By supporting these pathways, boot camps, community groups, apprenticeships, here in Columbus, we can empower more women to have greater economic security. We can enable more women to use the limitless potential of technology to create solutions that improve our future. We can make Columbus more prosperous, equitable, and a stronger leader in the world of technology.